Hi, I'm Cadet Raymond, and in this week's episode, I am going to talk about how you can let go of those sentimental items, those things that have a lot of memories and they mean a lot to you, but you know it's time to let them go so that you can let go, move forward, and live fully. to this week's episode. This is a heavy one. This is something that I deal with all the time with my clients. I even have sentimental items in my own home that I'm still holding on to. I've let go of a lot of things. In fact, I'm going to be letting go of something very precious in the next week or so. Um, I have my father's ashes and I want to spread them and it's taking me a few, a couple of years to make this decision, but I know the time is right. So I want to walk you through the process of how do I let go of items that belong to a loved one or they just have so much sentimental value, there's so many memories held in them. And it does come from a question as well from one, one of the members of Women Living Fully. She asked that uh, she becomes very overwhelmed with the items that belong to a loved one. She gets stuck emotionally. She says, I'm stuck emotionally. I'm holding on to my mother's things uh, that I brought into my house after she passed, how can I get unstuck? And I also got a second question from another member of Women Living Fully, and she asked, I have also brought things from my mother in my home, and I don't know how to let them go. So here's an answer for you. These items bring with them so many memories. They represent the people that we love, a time in our past where we were happy, where we were joyful, where there was plenty of love. And when somebody passes away and we have their things, we feel an obligation, a responsibility to keep their items, to honor them. And we get stuck. We feel this sense of responsibility and we can't take those steps to let go because we want to make sure we're honoring our loved ones by holding on to the item. However, your loved one would not want you to be overwhelmed or feeling responsible for this and having shame or regret and wanting to let it go. Your loved one would want you to continue to live fully, to be happy, and it's okay to let go of some things. I'm going to use a client story that I share from the stage all the time. I had two sisters and a mom who were moving into one home. They were downsizing together due to the circumstances of their lives. And we were now at the decluttering of the garage part of the process. And there was a filing cabinet in this garage, a three door yellow filing cabinet. You and I would look at the filing cabinet and think it's just a filing cabinet. But for these two sisters, it represented their father. They hadn't been using the filing cabinet since he passed away three years before. They were holding on to the filing cabinet because it represented their father. It represented his memories, their memories of him. And they wanted to honor him by keeping the filing cabinet. But they had no space for it. They weren't using it. So a solution was to offer taking a photograph of the filing cabinet, framing it and putting that photo on each of their desks. And that worked for them. You don't necessarily have to keep an object to honor your loved ones. You can take a photograph, you can take a piece of it, you can transform it into a pillow or a quilt or if it's a piece of clothing. There's so many things you can do. You can check online. Also, put in the comments below, reach out to me. Uh, I'd love to offer some additional advice here if you have specific items that you want to honor but you're not sure how to do that. I'd be happy to offer you some guidance. And please, the other side of this is you don't have to do it alone. You can call on me and my teams to help you. If you live outside this area, I can certainly help you using technology. I'm here to help. I'm here because I wanna help you to let go so that you can move forward and live fully. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great week.